Hey guys, Mark here with Walter's World and we're in Sevilla, Spain, one of the 10 coolest places to check out in Spain. Now, if you're coming to Spain, you're not sure where to go, I'm going to give you the list. These are the 10 best cities to visit when you come to Spain. Now the thing is, I'm going for cities in terms that they're easy to get to, in terms you can fly in, like with EasyJet, Ryanair, take the train in to these places, stuff like that. Because there are some really cool small towns, small villages you can get to that are a little bit more difficult to get to, but I'm just going to stick with the easier ones so you can get there and enjoy a nice weekend in Spain or a two-week trip in Spain and see the best. So here are my 10 favorite cities in Spain. Now they're not in any order, like one is the best, 10 is the worst, they're just the 10 ones that you should check out. First place you should check, well, first place you should, number one, okay, Barcelona. Guys, Barcelona is amazing. With Gaudi's influence, I mean, 100 years ago, this guy is building crazy buildings all over the city. You go to Park Well, it's the cra it's like an acid trip park when you go through and see all the crazy stuff he's got there. The Sagrada Familia, that's the crazy looking church. It looks like it's from Alien, that they're still building today. That is really cool. That's all from Gaudi. His influence is all over the city. But it's also not more modern stuff. It's also more historic. If you go to the Gothic Barrio, Okay, the Gothic neighborhood. You got the cathedral there, which is unbelievable. Just wandering the streets there, having tapas in the Gothic neighborhood is great. You have Las Ramblas, which is kind of like a pedestrian street with cars on the side, but that's where all the buskers are. At the end, you have the Columbus Museum or the Columbus Columbus Tower. There's all, the Museum of Catalonia. There's all kinds of great stuff to see in Barcelona. You can do a week in Barcelona. There's even day trips all around. Go check it out. Barcelona is great. Second place you want to check out. Number two, Madrid, the capital. Guys, Madrid's got great nightlife. So does Barcelona. Barcelona is probably better, but whatever. Uh, that's a debate that people always have. Madrid's got three world-class museums. The best one out there, though, is the Prado. You have to go there. It's probably one of the top two or three museums, art museums in the world. Okay. When you're walking around, there's also the the Royal Palace there, in in, in Madrid to check out where you know uh, King Carlos is there. Uh, Don Carlos, I mean, it's just, the city is a capital, but it feels cool. I mean, you go there, and you're like, I want to drink, I want to have fun, I want to see the sights, I want to see the museums, it is great. Also, Madrid makes a great base of operation to go see some other cities, like Segovia and Toledo. Toledo's actually on this list, too. Okay, so you have a great time in Madrid. The Plaza Mayor, the Puerto del Sol, there's all kinds of cool places to check out. Okay, the third city you want to check out, it's just a day trip from Madrid, you take the bus there, Toledo. Toledo is the church capital of Spain. It's still called kind of the imperial city. And you go there, there's, I mean, the uh, the Alcazar there, the fortress there, there's a military museum now, but you see it when you come up, you're like, wow. I mean, Sp Toledo's got these hills, so if, you're, if you don't like walking, be careful, because you're going to be walking up a little bit, up and down, so if you've got bad knees, be careful. But uh, you go to Toledo, all kinds of little alley ways to go through, great little shops to check out. Okay, you go through there, the cathedral, go, yeah, the, how can I forget the cathedral, go in the Gothic cathedral, walk around, see that inside, outside. I mean, Toledo's kind of a muse city museum. You just walk around and you feel like you're in the past. And you will get overrun with tourists because lots of tourists go there, lots of Spanish people go there because it is worth it, okay? That's number three. Number four on our list, Sevilla. Guys, the capital of Andalusia, the home of flamenco and bullfighting. This is the place, guys. Come see a bullfight, though it can be pretty graphic, I will warn you. Just in, just in case, you know, it is, I mean, I went to a couple and I, I'm not going back, but it was a cultural experience, so just be prepared. Here, uh, there's the, the Alcazar, the fortress with all the gardens you can see. There's the the, ta the Giralda, the tower in the cathedral. The cathedral, I mean, it's got Columbus's tomb in it. All kinds of great stuff. Walking around the Santa Cruz Barrio, really, really nice town to check out. Number five on our list, because we're running out of time. Cordoba, which is about, if you take the fast train, it's 45 minutes from here on the fast train, hour and a half from Madrid on the fast train. Cordoba, the reason we want to go there, and it's my favorite town to go to, is the, the Mesquita. Okay? The Mesquita is, is, it's a mosque, okay, with these red arches. You'll see it on all your tourist brochures. It's a mosque that they built a cathedral in the middle of. Okay, because usually the Catholic kings would tear down the mosque. This one they thought was so cool, they still use it and put the cathedral in the middle. Guys, just going to see the Mesquita makes it worth the trip, okay? And also the town has some other little museums and walking around the old town, the Roman bridge, it is really nice, okay? The sixth place to go, Granada. Guys, it's a university town, so there's lots of party, but the thing you want to see when you're there is the Alhambra, the Moorish castle, palace, gardens, all the amazing thing, sight. Go there, you just buy, you have to buy your tickets online, make sure you get a, a time. Go there, pick up your tickets, and just go on it, and you're going to spend the day. Seeing the little little ponds, the, the, the gardens, the little palaces, the intricate... I mean, I can't even explain it. I'll try to put some pictures on here. 
the intricacies of inside the patios and the palaces, how every little detail, every little corner is done up so nice with these intricate patterns and things. I mean, you got to check it out. I mean, words can't explain how awesome the Alhambra is. So check that out when you go to Granada. That, Granada, number six. Number seven, ah, well, you know, we've been doing all this culture stuff. We need a little bit of chill time. We need some beach time. Seven, head down to Valencia. You got great beaches there, but also you want a little something different. You're tired of churches. Well, there, there are great churches and plazas there to check out. I won't lie to you about that. But what you want to do there is you go to the beach and you want to go to the science, well, the science museum. It's called the Ciudad de las Artes y las Ciencias. The City of Art and Sciences, Planetarium, Science Museum. Guys, it's, it's like the second, four million people or more go there a year. It's the second most visited site, like tourist site in the country. And it's in Valencia. And it's got beaches. What more can you ask for? Okay? Valencia, cool town to check out. Also nice little green path through there. So in this, all this heat, you still have a place where you can go and chill out if the beach isn't good enough for you. Okay? Number, number eight on our list. Sorry, San Sebastian. San Sebastian is in the Basque Country. And guys, you want to go to the Basque Country because it is different. You go up there and the people are different. I mean, they're still cool, but you really feel the difference. And also there's a different language there, which you're not going to understand. And no one knows where it came from, so don't even try. But learn a few words in Basque. But it is a really cool town. You go there, it's on a bay. The beach on the bay is really cool to check out, just to kind of, you know, see the part of the city. It's called La Playa de la Concha. The, the bay there, the Concha Bay. You sit there, there's a, there's a nice aquarium there, there's some cool stuff to see. You can see the rest of the Basque Country, it makes a good base to see. I mean, I loved it, it was really cool. I can't, it's one of those things that you, there's not, I mean, there's stuff to see, but just the feel of the town is really, really cool. Okay? Number nine, a place you want to check out, Santiago de Compostela. Guys, this was one of the most pilgrimage sites in Europe. Okay, people walk, it's called the Camino de Santiago, the, the Walk of St. James. People would walk across Spain to come to the cathedral there. And guys, the cathedral. The cathedral is amazing. I've been there probably four times, three or four times. You go there, you walk, wow, I understand. And you'll see people with donkeys and sticks that have walked the trail. And you go and they'll put their hands down, put their head down, all kinds of stuff and pray. It is an amazing kind of religious experience. Well, religious experience, but just experience in general. Get over into Galicia, it's a different, I mean, their, their Spanish is more like Portuguese, Galician. Okay, you go there, it's a different feel. Nice beaches there in the summer. A little cold water, but still nice beaches. But also, you want to go to Santiago because of the cathedral. And the last one on our list is Salamanca. Okay, Salamanca, great university town. It gets a little chilly in the winter, but they have all this sandstone there that they've really sculpted the city in really nicely. Uh, if you go to the cathedral, which is cool, how, there's, there's a dragon holding an ice cream cone that they carved into the into the cathedral. Like, watch when you walk in the door, you look for the dragon with the ice cream cone and the astronaut. And then, if you're a university student, you gotta go, there's another place in the university, there's a whole wall, huge, I mean, it's like four or five stories tall, of all the, you know, the, the artwork, on the, the carvings and the sandstone, and you have to find the frog on top of a skull, okay? It's for good luck before an exam. Now, if you find it with someone telling you, you don't get the good luck, but just go and look for it. And then the last thing you want to check out when you're in Salamanca is the Plaza Mayor. Very cool square, but the thing is it has like the kings and leaders of Spain all the way around in their little bus. And um, Sala, oh not Sala, that's the Portuguese guys, um, Franco, the dictator of, of Spain, his thing's up there and you still see people, they still go and they spit at it, they throw tomatoes at it, they throw paint at it because they really didn't like this guy. So. Those are my, oh, and then I'll, I'll throw in number 11 to help my buddies out. When you're on that train between Barcelona and Madrid, stop out in Zaragoza, go see the Cathedral de Pilar. That's where my buddy Sergio and, 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 um, and um, Diego. Anyway, so our top 10 places to check out in Spain. One, Barcelona. Two, Madrid. Three, Toledo. Four, Sevilla. Five, Cordoba. Six, Granada. Seven, Valencia. Eight, San Sebastian. Nine, Santiago de Compostela. Ten, is Salamanca, and number 11, just to stop by, Zaragoza. So guys, have a great time in Spain. I love Spain. You will have a great time in any of these places. The people are great. we got more videos on here for learning Spanish, five things you love and have about Spain, about Sevilla, all kinds of stuff. Check it out at our website, www.waltersworld.com. Bye.